Hi and welcome back to the channel. This is Tyra. So today is December the 5th. I didn't vlog yesterday. I wanted to try to see if I could get one vlog in, but it was my birthday and I just didn't have really time for it. So today it's uh, it's around half ten. It's Saturday and uh, I have been um, out shopping together with my husband uh, until I think we were done at around three and then we just came home had some dinner and so on and now I'm sat here um, watching I don't know if you know this one but <laughs> some Jurassic Park which is on the telly and I am stitching as well in my new stitching uh, setup um, I am uh, working on my clouds factory and I am going to show you that afterwards how much I've got done. I haven't really got much done, um, just a bit. I think I've got that one done and I'm started on the letters. So not much progress this week or this weekend, but uh, that's life for you, right? Um, I promised that I would do a giveaway on my birthday, so it's a bit belated, but, um, but anyway, um, I have been contemplating a lot about a new start in, uh, by the 1st of January, and, um, I have been searching for something that I want to do, which more or less, I think, could be... A hope for how 2021 is going to look like so I have decided that I want to give away this chart which I'm also going to start as my new start for um, 1st of January 2020 so this is a certain Suma mini city uh, cities chart and um, it is um, a, a crusted pattern PDF so um, if you like this pattern I will buy it for you and send it to you as far as I can see it says here that um, it's the, uh, this trio let's see this trio of uh, of modern uh, Across these patterns include colorful miniature London, Paris, and New uh, New York City cityscapes, and they look chic on black as well. Um, this is a download which includes a version of all three cities combined with uh, combined into a long design for the ultimate skyline. Uh, or you can you can um, do it them separate as well. And as I can see, I'm just going to flip the picture. Hang on. You can do them as here on a black canvas as well. I think they look really, really good. And I really like the colors on them because they're so vibrant and happy. And yeah, sorry, I'm still putting my finger over because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm holding it in my hand. So, but anyway, um, if you like this chart, oh, just hang on. I this I could go leave it. Wait, it's not always easy to film here <laughs> because he's a good boy, but he wants to be in on everything. So, but anyway, as I said, um, if you would like to stitch this uh, chart along with me. And have a new start um, on um, on uh, the new year. It's uh, you can comment below. I would like to stitch the mini cities, and uh, just to make sure to see how you uh, you spell them. It's mini cities like that, and I will. In a week or so, take out uh, whoever wants to stitch it, and I will send you um, 
a copy of the pattern via your email so we can start them together um so yeah and i have already found i think a fabric that could be used for it and this is a at the same time a bit of a i'm just going to see how i can do this um let's see if you can see that no I'm just hang on again <laughs> so as you can see here i just uh, found a fabric which i can th i think could be used and this is from Sustana Grain, which is in Denmark. And they've just come out with uh, an embroidery fabric, which I haven't seen before. And they're really, really cheap. It's a, it's a 50 times 40 centimeters. And it's only, yeah, you can see the prices here. It's really, really cheap. Um, and the quality seems okay. I think it's around a, I think it's around a 28 count or so. Um, just unbleached normal fabric embroidery fabric I'm just going to see if I can stitch on it but it seems okay and it seems like um, the threads are visible and so on and they seem yeah like a good linen so perhaps I'm going to use that one I'm just going to see it doesn't say anything about the count or anything on it um, it just says that it's an embroidery fabric um so nothing with a count or anything but it seems like if i it seems like a 28 count or a 32 count perhaps even a 36 count so perhaps it's too small for for that one and we need i think um in the pattern it says a 14 count um so i think that's what we I'm 14 or 28 count, I'm going to see. But I would really, really st like to stitch it in a raw linen. So perhaps I need to order a raw linen in a 28 count. I'm just going to look through my stars for it. Because I think it would look really, really, really good. And I am going to stitch, uh, stitch it as a pillow. Um, because I think that is going to look best just take away the light again and i'm really really good at her holding my hands over um i think that i'm going to stitch this as a um pillow and i think that with the measurements on it um that it needs to be a 14 count or a 28 li count linen or two over two just to get some some width in it um it's not going to be that tall tall i think it's going to be around 10 to 12 centimeters tall and around 40 centimeters wide so it's not a huge piece but i think oh i, I really really like that one so if you want to participate just write below and uh, i will take you into my drawing so I just wanted to show you some of my um, uh, gifts that I got from my husband in birthday. And I don't know how much you are going to see of this, but this is a, oh, uh, a magnifier on a, on a, yeah, on a foot. It's a, it's the, um, it's a, uh, yeah, a Stana version. And uh, as you can see here, when he's not in the way, uh, I'm sitting in our couch. I'm just trying to see if I can get around him. And I'm working on my, as I said, I'm just going to remove that one. My um, Clouds Factory style. And here is my present as well. From and here is my present as well from my uh, husband. Um, it's this one. Um, it's a needle minder from Agnes Little Minders. And it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Look at that head. Who doesn't like him? Um, so he found that one for me. I had wished one. And um, yeah, 
I'm really, really happy for it. And then I got this one as well, which is my magnifier. And I'm just going to see if you can see something through it because this is my setup at the moment. So I'm just having my Lowry stand in front of me and then the magnifier on top of it. I have had a magnifier which I could just clip on um, and on the Lowry stand, but it made the Lowry stand really, really wobbly. So I'm so happy for my new uh, magnifier. And somebody asked me whether what I found to be uh, a good magnifier. And I think here you pay a bit about a bit for what you get. So a quality is um, more often, uh, yeah, as it's it, the cheaper it gets, the more wobbly the things get. This is um, not the most expensive, but it's not the most cheapest, and it's not wobbly. It's really steady and. You can you can move the arms up and down and yeah it's really really good and the magnifier in it is good as well I don't know if you can see it but this is with the magnifier and this is without the magnifier just to show you so I have to get a bit closer just to see so um, so I'm loving working on it and I'm loving that I can just sit in the sofa and the couch and having him lying on my leg enjoying it as well and um, yeah just enjoying a Saturday evening and uh, yeah so that was my presence for now I also had a book from my colleagues at work uh, which is um, about um, trips uh, where you uh, hike in Denmark uh, different hiking trips and they are it looks really good they are uh, with difficult uh, yeah different difficulties and and also how long the trips are going to be so it, it looks really good um, and then I also got a watch from my my uh, husband and children so yeah so I had a really really wonderful day and tomorrow we are going to uh, to see my parents in Odense, which I haven't I haven't seen them for I think uh, two months again because of coronavirus, but uh, both of my children has just been tested and my husband hasn't been much to work. I've been been working at home at home a lot as well, so we thought that if we were to go to see them before Christmas, that was the time now. So um, so we're going tomorrow, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, and then perhaps I can do a vlog uh, while we drive over there and show you my my stitching while we drive. And, um, and so, yeah, and uh, do a vlog in the evening as well. I don't know how much stitching related I'm going to have done, but uh, yeah, so... Yes, but anyway, uh, see you tomorrow and uh, happy stitching and uh, keep on all the comments coming. I know that I'm not answering right away, but I'm uh, I'm s reading and and listening to all of your comments and uh, and uh, yeah, really really happy about them. Take care, uh, happy stitching and bye for now.